That song's called Pain of Foot Death. Let's do shitter. Our next song called Fight Our Traffic. Give me a second. Dedicated to nobody special. <laughs> Fight all traffic. <laughs> our next song called the Subterranean Water Song.
and I'm still awake. <laughs> I'm still awake after that. Let's play by a thousand. Our, our next song called By the Thousand. Dedicated to every single person who died from World War II. Just like the first one and the one before that. <laughs> Song called by the thousand. Our next song called The Great Conjunction. Ready?
Great Conjunction. That's called the Great Drunk Junction. <laughs> the Great Dun Drunk Junction. Drunk. <laughs> that was the name of that song.
That song called a Crystal Corn Flower. Our next song called More Like about people who live under the ground. The sack tickler. They don't like sunlight.
restaurant called Morlock. Hola, people, here we are again. This is the Call Me Crazy Show. Uh, this is my four-year anniversary show. So I'm very glad to be able to be able to do this. And uh, I want to be able to thank our teacher for seeing and Marty. And by the way, this is a, 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 I'm in a new band. Uh, this is some of the songs that we're doing. Well, I'll get to that later on. Okay, first things first on the Call Me Crazy show. Uh, your four 2029 is the U of A won the Pac-10 championship. They won the tourney. Uh, a lot of people in the beginning of the season said that they weren't going to be able to go up to the Pac-10 tournament and and uh, and win the whole thing. But uh, apparently that's what they did, and uh, I'm glad they did. And hopefully they'll be able to go all the way because you know they did it last year. Right or no right, I'm uh, still going to go down to Fourth Avenue again. So we'll see what happens then. And today is March 11th, 2002. It is six months ago today that September 11th happened. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I have this little flag here. Uh, like there were uh, the words of a real cool, cool man who died on that day, Todd Beamer. He was the one who uh, convinced some of the other passengers on Flight 93 to uh, help take down the terrorists in the cockpit, and they're the one who crashed in Pennsylvania. And um, you know, I've been hearing a lot of uh, 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 the saying around. Uh, he said, uh, "Let's roll." That was the last thing that uh, that the operator 911 was able to hear from the the, the passenger. So long live Ted Beamer, Todd Beamer. I'm sorry, Todd Beamer. And he's the one who said, "Let's roll." And uh, Neil Young wrote a song about it, and uh, it's also uh, that uh, that uh, word saying "Let's roll." The insignia thing is also on the side of our U.S. jets and some warplanes. But I'll get more into that later on. So I actually wanted to talk about 9/11. Uh, it's six months ago today. Okay, on the topic of the 9/11 uh, thing. Uh, oh, it's kind of bright. It's a beautiful day. But anyway. Uh, a secret Pentagon report to Congress. This came out a couple days ago, people out there in La La Land. A secret Pentagon report to Congress calls for calls for developing new nuclear weapons that would be better suited for striking targets in Iran, Iraq, North Korea, Libya, and Syria. So you know, and uh. And, and the U.S. government is saying that uh, the axis of evil, using the words of George Bush, George W. Bush, he says the axis of evil is uh, Iraq, Iran, and North Korea. And what I want to know, why did they make, why did the Pentagon make it public, uh, the reports talking about uh, nuclear weapons? Because right now uh, the U.S. government is saying we want peace and we want peace. You know, we're fighting for, we're fighting terrorism. We want to get peace, uh, worldwide peace. But here we are, the secret Pentagon report uh, asking for more and developing uh, uh, nuclear weapons. So that, uh, what makes me kind of uh, sad about all that is because of double standards. So, you know, I'll, I'll be able to tap into this later on too. But like I said, this is my 40 year anniversary show. Uh, you can saw some of the Corvette Club earlier. So I hope you like that. I'll talk to you about that. Okay, so that's going on. So, you know, I, I'm assuming now the people in Iran, Iraq, Libya, and uh, Russia is also included on the list. Uh, maybe we can strike some targets later on in the future. And what I want to know is, uh, why do we have to make a point to strike targets to Russia when Russia's already defended? So, like, it's, it's a it's a, a lose-lose uh, situation. Oh, look who's here. Uh, this is my, uh, my dog. Say hi to the camera, boy. Say hi to the camera. You're blocking the view, boy. But anyways, uh, and no, he's not the guy from the, the Green Mile. Okay. Oh yeah, so Russia. Uh, Russia is a better country now, now that uh, they're a little more democratic. And on the subject on terrorism also, we're gonna talk about this uh, Operation Anaconda that entered in the second week in Afghanistan. And the Secretary of Defense, uh, 
Rumsfeld said that hundreds and hundreds of Al-Qaeda and former Taliban soldiers were killed during the first week of Operation Anaconda. And I basically, I want to say that I, even though I don't, uh, I'm not saying I'm happy that people's lives were lost, the point is that uh, we ha they have to die in order for us to win, to ensure peace. So I said it. Okay. Daniel Pearl, we all know who he was. He was the reporter from the Wall Street uh, Wall Street paper who was murdered in Afghanistan. Uh, he's the journalist that was kidnapped back in January, up through February. Then on February 22nd, he was uh, stabbed to death. So, uh, and, uh, and I was reading the papers this morning, that, uh, or a couple days ago as a matter of fact, and talks about how why the journalists and basically the media personnel go out there, and I guess you're truly also, Marty Rob 2 dt uh, The Stupid Show, uh, all the other shows on the, on the public access, we're guilty of this too because we like being media personnel. But the point is that uh, some people want to know why does, uh, why does some people feel they have the need to go uh, report crime and uh, bad terrorist thing in other countries when they know that the, the journalists are in danger themselves, just like the soldiers and whatnot. So, I what I learned, and and uh, I'm, I'm pretty sure all the talk show hosts will agree on public access that the reason why we like to cover stories and report the news and you know give our opinion, social commentary, you know, uh, do our skits, do our movies, do our videos, is because we. Uh, we get off on getting this information out to you people, to the people out there in the La La Land who don't have access, who don't have the time to do and he read or hear anything. And that's why we do it for all the public access talk show hosts, also the religious evangelists, also on public access. Uh, it's a great worthy cause and, uh, you know, but the journalists who go to Afghanistan, Bolivia, I mean, to like war-torn countries, they do it because they get off on the same reason what we're doing it, but they take it to an extreme level where they're like drinking dirty water, living without no food for two weeks on end, you know, no friends, no no nothing in the uh, in that war torn country where you're covering your crime. And it's a 50-50 chance that you'll get murdered there because you're a journalist. And basically all journalism uh, uh, reporters around the world who uh, represent the U.S. and write for U.S. papers, they're all basically in danger because uh, they all represent Western interests. But it's very bad in Afghanistan. And I feel bad for Daniel Pearl because uh, uh, he was made to say some things that uh, was true. Uh, he is a Jew, well, his father was a Jew, his mom's a Jew. And basically the terrorists said, made Daniel Pearl say that because they want the whole world to know that what we're all fighting about is religious beliefs. So enough about that. Uh, long live Danny Pearl. Okay, and then on the on the subject of the religion thing causing wars and whatnot and battles, uh, you know, uh, Lent is that began. That's a, a Catholic ritual that many Catholics around the world use to uh, um, commemorate and uh, um, and pray to Jesus and whatnot. And but uh, in Israel, uh, it's supposed to be a very holy day. That's the land of God. Uh, on Good Friday, it turned out to be Black Friday because 42 uh, people were killed that day, all because the day representing whatnot in Jerusalem. And that's supposed to be a sacred city, people, right? All right. Well, all right. But uh, the Palestinians and the Israelis have been going at it for uh, 17 months now, but on Good Friday, 42 people were killed. Then yesterday, 14 Israelis were killed by a suicide bomber. Uh, in a cafe, and then uh, Israeli soldiers killed six Palestinians yesterday. Um, the Israeli government said, we want war, we're going to fight war. Now they have helicopters and tanks going to the refugee camps of the Palestinian state, and they're fucking things up. So, you know, I can't take sides on, uh, with anybody, but uh, I can hope it all ends. Uh, the U.S. is sending uh, a lot of top uh, U.S. officials over there, Colin Power called over there, talked to the President of Israel, the Prime Minister, Sharon, and, uh, you know, basically scolded him and saying, you know what, uh, Colin Powell told him, you really got to calm down because uh, you're, you're affecting a lot of policy around the Middle East. Get away! Outside, boy, get away! And uh, so that's basically that's what Colin Powell told him. Like, you you got to stop this. You can't end terrorism with more violence. So that's that. Okay, we're going to be talking about the UN 
has a report out saying by the year 2100, not like 98 years from now, it's 2002. Okay, then 98 years from now it will be 2100, and they say by that time, 2100, there will be 9 billion people living on the planet Earth. Can you believe that? I can't believe that. They were saying it was going to be 10 billion, but they're saying they're, they're off by 1 billion. 1 billion, 1 trillion, 1 zillion, whatever. The point is, that's a lot of motherfucking people. Okay, then I was reading, uh, uh, I was doing some research over the weekend. Because I found something, uh, I read somewhere about, uh, in Sudan, it's the only place where this, uh, hideous disease exists, and it's called the New Guinea worm disease. And get this, people. This worm disease it ex exists in Sudan, and what it does, it infects uh, the human, and it grows to be three feet long inside your intestines. And this is a disease that are uh, basically concentrated in Africa. Now they've been able to make it really concentrated in Sudan, and that's the last place on the planet Earth that the worm disease exists. And hopefully they'll be able to clean it out and the whole world won't have to know about worm disease.
call off a couple tidbits real quick. Uh, this is episode 53, but uh, I can learn some things on the, uh, in the on the internet. I'm sorry. And this is what I found out today is that uh, in Nigeria, a 23 year old man uh, got into a dispute about his pay with his his boss, and uh, she was a woman. The boss, the boss was a woman, and the 23 year old employee killed the woman, macheted her to death, cut her up into pieces, then cut her open and used her organs and made her into a soup using her organ. So think about that, that Nigeria, a Nigeria man cut open his boss's uh, innards, took out the intestines and put it into a pepper soup. <laughs> And that's real, that's real, that's real truth. Alrighty. Uh, also found out in China, a man was at the Beijing Zoo, and he was a college student. Uh, and for some weird reason, for some crazy dumb ass demented motherfucking reason, is that uh, he poured some acid on some of the bears that they have housed in the zoo. And somehow he was able, he managed to be able to get close enough to the bear and he poured sulfuric acid on the bear. What is wrong with that kind of mentality of going into the zoo and, and pouring acid on bears? Uh, but he said he get on to see if they were really stupid. He had quoted as saying. Yeah. And then I also found out about, uh, a man was jogging, I guess, two days ago, and somehow he had a cup of coffee or he was going for a morning walk around the block, and somehow he uh, he fell and he had the uh, the coffee mug and he fell onto the coffee mug and it shattered. And what happened? He bled to death because uh, he fell on top of the the uh, the shattered coffee mug, and nobody in the neighborhood knew where he was at, and they found him a couple hours later lying face down and he gets blood to death because uh, he wasn't not able to get off the coffee mark. Don't walk around, don't walk around the block with the coffee mug. Bad enough, we live in the west side. All right, uh, west coast, I mean. But anyways, uh, in Kim Kingston, Jamaica, Jamaica man, is uh, a woman was being raped and get this while the uh, rapist was raping her he was trying to shove his tongue down her throat and she managed to bite it off so now the uh, the rapist has no tongue yep 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 land of Bob Marley okay another tidbit in Miami an 81 year old woman was busted with 10,000 tablets of ecstasy. An 81 year old woman with 10,000 tablets of ecstasy in Miami. Why is she in Miami? Okay, 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 okay. Uh, first thing first, I'm gonna talk about something major that I read about today that I have a, I have a picture of. Um, let me see if I can pull the picture out later. But first I'm gonna talk about something I found out uh, an FBI agent testified that O.J. Simpson has tried ecstasy and has no comment on it. I'll get more on that later. Uh, I'll get back to you. I'll bring some more tidbits. I want to get Behind you, like, the scenes. strictly total death. You know what I mean? Okay. I, I saw the shot here. The sonic can be dead in here. <laughs> this tripod was not made for this. Hell no. <laughs> well, let me see they've been on camera. The trail, Mark. This tripod was not made for this. Ugh. I'm not going to have any more feet. Yeah. A picture of the trail, right? Uh, a picture of the tree, 
and shot of the mountain with the clouds over it, and then you know, and some sky. All right. So you know, if you can get the ground scene also, the trail part is important. Also. All right. We'll take a look in here. Okay, can we go? Can we get a little closer and go over the fence? All right, yeah, I didn't see anything. Dude, I think it's Yeah, you got the you got the idea. If we can get get the fence uh, out of the scene. What the fuck? I just charged the battery. Jesus Christ! Talking about shitty equipment. Whoever's nearest to the trunk, can you throw this in the trunk and put it in the trunk? So what if I actually go up on the trail no. and just get some like desert life? Yeah, well I would think if, we, if you can get down here, uh -huh. right, and you see where you where you're standing right here, you get the the shot of the trail leading upward. And I wanted to get that with the, the tree. And then kind of like zoom out to include the mountain in exactly. the tree. Exactly. All right. Okay. No. Can I see the shot after you send it up? Exactly. Okay. If you can do it maybe a full minute. Alright. I'll do the slow slowest zoom. Yeah, get uh how you had it planned out and then you pan out. You just rehearse it real quick. Oh, damn it. Just... Thing real quick. Alright, first. What do you shot call that? Day. What do you call that? Uh, uh, scene one. Oh, I should have brought my slate. Oh, uh, you have, have one? I have a you have one? I left it at Christmas. Oh, oh, next time. Yeah. All right, so. Oh, uh, whatever. Scene rolling. one. Camera's rolling. You're going to call action? Yeah, action. No, this is not doing on a part three. This is behind the scenes. Can you give me a hand on the wall here? Like handheld? Yeah, handheld and light. No uh, light pole. Maybe we could go from here. Go, 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 go. Go and stop right here. Okay. Like maybe you know, 90 degree. That should work. Okay. Scene two. Action. I'm rolling. Action. Okay, I'm A found object. <laughs> <laughs> Improvisation you know, is key. There's no such thing as survival in the desert. Okay, can we, can I have you a shot of uh, like uh, a shot, like a dog's eye view of this? All right. And let me find So kind of like this. You can do that. How about we go from uh Okay, how about we go from here? Dog's eye view. You go over that. Give me a second. You go over that. There's a lot of cans back here. 
people must have been shooting Fucking bullshit. Cans. Huh? Africans, Mexicans, Americans. <laughs> So how about like this? Like it kind of looks like a like a dolly shot. Like comes down. Ugh, mm -hmm. Give him a second. <laughs> Gathering. Yeah, that should be good enough. All right. All right. So how's this? Okay. Kind of like up here, no. and then it swoops down. Can you? Well, maybe, yeah, that would look cool. What do you think? Coming sure, from the top? Yeah, yeah, whatever, you know. Kind of like a, a dolly action, like it comes down, and then it goes dog eye. Okay, it cool. Okay, you do that. I can do it a couple of times, too. Fiend three, take. Camera's rolling. Next. Okay, and then yeah, we'll go from foul. And then I can also like the same length as you had her, Mark. Like have the same length as you ran. Uh -huh. Just good, the same way. And also, do you want me to kind of like come through the brush? Yeah, can you do that? Go for it. Go for it. Can you do that? Yeah. Yeah, do that. All right. Where's my button? Camera's rolling. And action. Okay. All right. Can we have a shot now, Mark? I'm gonna go like this. Where? Uh, you know, I don't want to get the shot of those civilized. How about coming from that way? Yeah, let's do that. We'll go to here. How about I take one of these branches off so you can like come through here? You can also just stand behind me and hold the tree away. What's that? You can just like stand behind me and hold the tree up. Uh, oh yeah, I can do that. <laughs> <laughs> Destruction. <laughs> Good enough. <laughs> yeah, it should. Uh, there you go. You don't even have to hold it back. It holds itself back. Okay. Now, can we go from here, Mark? Oh, nice long, long one, huh? Can we, can you go like this? Okay. Fiend four, cut. Rolling. Axe. <laughs> okay, we're going to take two on that. Okay. Take two. Fiend four, cut. <laughs> Still rolling. Action. And you didn't want me, yeah. Hello. Bueno días. Bueno. I'm going to go out. I see a bathroom towel on the wall. The walls all turn into blue color swirling on the wall like a ball. I'm singing a room song over and over and over again. I can't believe what I'm saying. It can't be dead. Head, bed, red, Fred, Jed, paid, laid, ray, what? They sound like a studio.
Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna start doing it right now, but this is where it comes in. Yeah. You didn't want me to take it slow. I didn't want you to fly and go. What you say might not even be true. Oh, oh, baby, yeah. You didn't want me to take it slow. To take it slow I didn't want you to fly and go What you say might not even be true Oh, oh, baby, yeah You didn't want me to take it slow Then you tried to run away And then you cry so you can't blame You didn't want me to take it slow Okay, let's hear what that sounds like. Okay, I'm gonna go in there, dude. Check, check. Okay. So. This is still a run through. Is a fuck up take? This is a run through just to get make, get everything set up finally. Fine. Okay. Can you hear it? Marty, no. can't hear it in there? Marty, you know what? Let's see how I sound like with Dr. Weston. Look, I can't hear it, dude. I have my hearing aid all the way up, but you can't hear it. Yeah, because I can't make it any louder. It, sque it squeaks. Here, but I'll be fake. Well, hold on, you stay right there. Can you hear it down there? Okay, hold on. I'm gonna move it. Yeah, right move it to back as long as it's out of the room so we don't get feedback. Just wherever you can still hear it from, you know? Take it slow. I didn't want you to fly and go. What you say might not even be true. Oh, oh, baby, yeah. You didn't want me to take it slow.
Then you cry so we can play. And then you try to run away. And then we cry so we can play. You didn't want me to take it slow I didn't want you to fly and go What you say might not even be true oh. Oh. Okay, I think that's gonna work You didn't want me to take it slow yeah, that's good volume on everything. Yeah, I'm trying not to be too loud, but you know I want to be loud enough. You there, there? Well, yeah. Let me know what I do. Alright, pretty much when you hear the song start, we're going to do it. Okay. Didn't want me to take it slow. I didn't want you to fly and go. What you say might not even be true. Oh, oh, baby, yeah. You didn't want me to take it slow. Take it slow. Didn't want me to take it slow. I didn't want you to fly and go. What you say might not even be true. Oh, oh, baby, yeah. I didn't want you to fly and go. So we can play And then we die
just so we can play And then we cry so we can play And then you try to run away They didn't want me to take it for I didn't want you to fly and go But what you say might not even be true Oh, oh, baby, yeah You didn't want me to take it slow What? That was good. Yeah, let's see how it sounds, dude. Should I fi finalize that one? Yeah, yeah, finalize that one. I'm not gonna do that again. Hell <laughs> no. How are my vocals there on that part? Was I far enough? That was. That, you're gonna like it. We just made our own home studio. First hit single from Ghettoville 2002, motherfucker. Like <laughs> right on the west side. <laughs> Ghettoville Records. Ghettoville Records. It's a whole new fucking it's a company. Pop. Yeah, this is like Beyond Robert. This is Beyond Pillowheads. This is Beyond anything. This is 2002 Records. This is total like. This is a full merger. <laughs> we'll give it the real test when it sounds like out of the boombox. That'll give you an idea how it'll sound on everybody's, you know, before we hear it. Away Call me Bray Daniel Bob Marley. And it's only the, uh, it's, you did the first one, you did the overdub, and I took that overdub, and we did the third overdub right on it. So it's only the, that's only the generation, that, that hiss you hear, it's the natural, every ambient sound. Oh, yeah, Marty, that is the bomb. Almost stereo sound, if you will. Yeah, it, it's a high, it's a high five, five mono over a stereo music. <laughs> because the one vocals I, are mono anyway. The second overdub that I do enhances the whole shit. Oh yeah. It goes beyond Casio, beyond severe beating with Jake. <laughs> and Chris is also trying to say that he's a better songwriter. So you can still hear the massive echo that's creating all the way over there, and it's just enough out of the way. To take on the echo of the whole house and not feedback. Awesome. Because me and Marty, who I did, get twisted around for when you still. When you Marty, I'm going to turn my, look, my hearing down, my hearing aid down a little bit, Marty, because when I turn it on so high, what happens, I, I get a intense, like, oh, yeah, uh, right. treble, yeah. but when I go down to like seven and a half and eight, I can hear stuff, so it's like, I have to adjust my hearing to what, I know it sounds crazy, but that's the only way I can do it.
crazy. Crazy, crazy. I don't wanna be on the motherfucking microphone fucking up all the motherfucking song. So I have a long dock, long diggity dong dock, long ding dig diggity dong 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 dong. You ready? Yeah. Okay, here we go. Marty, am I too loud right here? Yeah. Uh, you want me to move the microphone a little back? Yeah. Uh, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, is that cool? That's good, right there. Okay, I'll move it a little back f further. And remember, it picks up every little noise. I'm ready. All right. I didn't want you to fly and go That sounds great Yeah Okay, so I can hear everything Marty But I feel like I'm breathing too hard I think Yeah, and you can hear all your breath yeah, but this is what you want to do. Put it here, so because you're hearing every. Oh, you can hear the vibration. And this thing's so powerful that I'm sure even from right here it'll pick you up. Okay, so I can get like control my vocal then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Because Mark, I want to do it on one tape, dude. Or like you know. Even if you if you were to sit right back here, mm -hmm. it would pick you up. Uh, would it be better if I go down from under? Yeah, like I'm saying, you can sit here. Oh, oh, all right, all right, all right. Okay, let me go. I'll take a switch real quick. All right. Okay, ready. Okay, I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, uh, this will be a run through. Cool. Yes, that'll be perfect. Okay, now we're gonna do the okay, real I'm thing. Okay, I'm cool right here then, Marty. Okay, yeah, we're gonna do camp. I can only do this one, two take. Yeah, we're gonna do the real thing right now. Cool, I'm right here. Here we go. This is going to be it for real, right here. Okay.
four. Will the real Ray Daniel please stand up? 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 seen a brown person before just like our clique smoking bunk and doing crack in 94 and everyone says uh, look at the forbidden zone rip out of the hookah and more the only difference is cluckers on tv la llorona making them jeans and still hanging out being baked and selling out just like we did back in the day when we were in sunset foothills but straight up toil we just keep going we're strong that's the way we are we grew up so one more time let me tell you it goes. Yes, so many crazy and sounds are real crazy. All you other than crazy are just put those things to walk the real way. Can you please smoke dope? Please smoke dope. Please smoke dope. Yes, I'm really crazy and sounds are real crazy. All you other than crazy are just put those things to walk the real way. Can you please smoke dope? Please smoke dope. Please smoke dope. All you TV acts are scared. Cause you know. We got the top ratings on this air. The only difference is, we've been doing this for 13 years. Marty running around, grabbing his you know what. But he's so cute though, hee hee hee. And that's why we say, Ray, Rob, Roach, Paul, Stoney, Louie, Rudy, even Cliff, Coy with the mafioso, and all I forgot, I'm holding a 40. <laughs> One. 